Hi and welcome to Spice and Pans. For today, we'll be cooking clay pot rice. So let's start cooking. Now we are going to marinate the chicken. I have with me over here 250 grams of chicken Thai meat. I've deboned them and also taken out the skin. You can slice them thinly like this. We will now marinate them. Add in one tablespoon of oyster sauce, one teaspoon of light soy sauce, half a teaspoon of sugar, one teaspoon of rice wine. Mix them up well first. And we'll add in one and a half tablespoon of corn flour. Mix them up well again. Add in a few dashes of white pepper. Continue to mix them. And finally, we'll add in one tablespoon of sesame oil. Mix them up well and we'll just leave them aside. You do not need to put them in the fridge because we'll be cooking this pretty soon. We'll now proceed to go and fry the salted fish. Now we're going to fry our dried salted fish. Heat up a pan, add in a suitable amount of oil. At medium to medium low heat, we'll fry 10 grams of dried salted fish, sliced into small pieces like this. Don't turn the heat up too high, otherwise you'll burn them quite easily. You just want them to turn a little bit crispy and to also get the maximum flavour out. This is about done. It's pretty fast. So once they have slightly brown like this, we we'll remove them from the oil and set them aside. Now we are prepared to make the sauce. I will add in one tablespoon of shallot oil. This is the shallot oil that I've made for my noodles. If you want to know how to make this, I will leave a link in the description box and you can just click on it. Add in also two tablespoons of dark soya sauce. Now I'm using medium low or low heat for this because I don't want to burn the sauce. One tablespoon of light soya sauce, approximately 80 milliliters of water and one teaspoon of sugar. Now we just need to melt this and let this liquid reduce to about two thirds of what you see right now. We can turn the heat now up to medium, no problem. We just need to get this to come to a boil and to melt the sugar. Having a good sauce for the clay pot rice is very important because it will elevate the taste, the fragrance of your dish. Keep stirring them. This is about done. So we'll turn the heat off and we'll just put the sauce aside. We're now prepared to cook our rice. In a clay pot, add in two cups of rice. This is approximately 300 grams. I'm using Thai fragrance rice over here. Wash and rinse, spread them up. And I'm adding in 340 milliliters of water. Now, if you do not have a weighing skill at home, it's actually very easy. Um, the ratio is actually one to one. Using the same container, if you use two cups of whatever container for the rice, use back the same container and two cups exactly the same for water. And you'll have the perfect ratio for water to rice. We'll put the lid back on. And once when we start to see the steam rising up, we'll add in the rest of the ingredients. You can see that the steam is starting to rise from the rice. We'll add in our ingredients now. First, we'll add in the chicken that we have marinated. Spread them out evenly so that they will cook evenly. Try not to overlay them. Add in 60 grams of sliced Chinese sausage. To remove the casing, just soak them in hot water for 3-5 minutes. Add in one piece of Mei Xiang salted fish. These are the kind of salted fish that you find normally soaked in oil. I've removed the bone, so you can do the same too. We'll put the lid on and we'll let this cook for 10 to 12 minutes. On the seven minute mark, we will put in our greens. It's almost done already, and I can smell the slightly burnt rice, which is something that we want. And we'll turn down the heat and let this cook for another three minutes. Three minutes is up, let's have a look. Wow, smells really good. Now we'll turn off the flame. Normally I would like to serve this in front of all my guests or family members, but because we are doing filming right now, I'd just like to show you how we mix this up together. You can add in the sauce. You don't have to add in everything at one go. Right. 
Look at how beautiful this is. Next, we'll add in the salted fish that we have fried just now. This will be really, really good. Now we'll just mix this up together. Now, in case you do not have a clay pot at home, if you want to use it on your rice cooker, by all means do so, no problem. Right. There's some burn bit below and these are the best. Okay, just mix them up well. After we have mixed this up well, we'll just garnish this with some spring onion and that will be our lunch. And now the dish is done, let's have a taste. I like, 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 triple like clay pot rice because I love the smokiness as well as the very fragrant aroma that's emitting from this dish. Mm. You really must try to make this dish. It will be one of the best that you have ever tried before for clay pot rice. The aroma of the salted fish is just nice. It's not too overpowering. And the combination of the sauce and the rice really brings the whole dish to a different dimension of taste. This is really good. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you like our video. Do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.